nice you know so first we draw some cards i do enjoy drawing my cards like i will just get it back with the extraction specialist oh the fur is probably a nail in the coffin by the way look at our hand like we are up to 10 cards <laughs> Oh, I love the search engine in this deck. It's just so fun. And I mean, you can keep getting more and more stuff like this. Hello everyone, it's Slav here. And today we have a very, very different deck because even though it's a kind of control deck, it's very heavy on the creatures and it has synergies and it has some extra spice of value that usually control decks don't have. We usually go card for card and that's what put us behind in some scenarios. So I wanted to make deck that goes two for one and Extraction Specialist is a prime target for it. So of course it gets back a two mana converted uh, cost creature from the graveyard so you need to play a lot of those. We are playing 4 search engine, 3 Danix, and you will see in the games today search engine, especially when it goes back for free, is such an insane menacing threat. Not only it trades very well with everything because of 3 attack, you, this is basically perfect mana sync. And against any control deck, whenever you draw those 3 cards, you are getting so ahead and you just lose it, get it back again with extraction special. And we have even one special play to top all of this. We have Sarah Paragon, only one because we don't have room for more. I actually cut the Emperor. Like, this is a sacrifice <laughs> for mana. And then we can play Sarah Paragon into Extraction Specialist, into Search Engine. We basically get three cards out of this and each of those cards is amazingly strong. And he needs to answer basically everything. And when he kills an Extraction Specialist, you can just replay it and do it over again. And I had good results on Ladder with this one, even though it's like so funky in a way. We have one Silex and two Depopulate. Uh, we have Bangbuster because not only it's a good card, but you can see that Search Engine 3 power, Extraction Specialist 3 power, Faith Bond Judge, card that is really interesting in this in this deck, we'll talk about it in a, in a moment. Also, at least 3 power. Uh, Amalgam, Sarah Paragon, all of our creatures can basically crew it. And even though we are not aggressive deck, we don't want to kill our opponent, we want to kill his planewalkers, and this is the big reason why this mini combo is there, because Liliana, uh, is super scary unless you just kill her and she's not scary anymore. So, Fate Ball, Faith Bound Judge. Reason I've tried this card in this deck is that first it has three mana converted mana cost, so it works with Paragon really nice. And second, usually your opponent burns all the removal on your early game, so on search engines, extraction specialists, whatever. And it means that a 4 4 with Defender Flying Vigilance is scary. It usually dies anyway, but it's hard for them to deal with and it trades very well against any Trespasser, uh, Tenacious Underdog, even the Sleeper, Raiju. It basically trades with everything and it will have to get removed at some point. So the idea is that you get 2 for 1. So they attack, lose something and then they try to finish it off with Lightning Strike. And that's why it's in the deck. On the Sinner's Judgment side, like we had games when we could use it. But honestly, it, it, it really feels great. It's usually better to just draw three cards with the search engine and just get more ahead. Uh, because if someone uh, answers the enchantment, you are so behind, it's not even funny. You can use it, but in the decks that d cannot answer it in any way, so they don't run Invoke Despair. Because it's still your enchantment, even though it enchants player, the other player. So keep it in mind. We have one Overcharge Amalgam double make disappear so we can go a bit of a control game and we can counter nearly all of the invokes in a fury so this is the deck uh, it was supposed to be a different deck it was supposed to be five color control but i got so destroyed on the ladder that after losing three games in a row i decided to make a new deck and have something interesting so i hope you guys enjoy it and okay i got the joke on the subscribe thing if you subscribe something good will happen to you in your lifetime. Probably. All right, let's go into the games and I hope my excellent joke was super fun. <laughs> oh my god, that was lamer than I imagined. So let's go into the games. Thank you for listening. All right, this might be the only shot that we finally get to play some normal magic. We start with this one, of course. With Make Disappear, we should be able to, you know, at least play into the game a little bit. 
we seem to be against Esper. They shouldn't have very threatening two drops, so I think our search engine is better. And if we untap and can protect it, it's great. If not, we play extraction specialist and we basically get the same stuff. I hope it's not partition because that's the exile effect. I hope it's just a remover. Perfect! I'm so happy you don't play this card. Wow, we got so much value already. Extraction specialist. I hope you like both of the creatures now. Yeah, that that was the that was the idea for the deck. And now we untap. We hit a land. And we say We say go. Okay? We say go like this. It's fine. <laughs> I, I want to crack the clue, in all honesty. And we can use Soul Partition on our specialist. This is fine. He wants to find a good card, it's probably some kind of sweeper, because if he just keeps one for one, it's not the greatest. And we'll make this appear whatever he plays. It's fine. We do not mind Sunset Reverie at all. Alright, do I Soul Partition one of those? Because he will double block the Extraction Specialist. Uh, first, I want my card. I should probably not do it, but I'm a dummy, because now if I Soul Partition he can counter it. But, on the other side, it gave us some extra information. So, he can uh, counter it, but now Sunset Reverie didn't really bring much to the table. Alright, we attack. We have 5 cards to 5 cards, and Search Engine might do things very quickly. He needs to react, that's the point, he needs to react and we have a counter spell, and that's a really good situation for us. Next turn it will be Faith, Ball, Faith Bound Judge, but this turn we would not be able to counter spell and that's really bad. We can also Soul Partition our own stuff to protect it. I mean that's annoying. That is annoying. Maybe this time we just let it through. Alright, so we will definitely use the search engine like this. And then we will use this one. And 5-4 is much better, right? That That's my thinking, it's much better. So, my friend, do you really want to kill this extraction specialist? <laughs> Uh, he doesn't, and I'm not surprised. So, it seems that we are trying to kill him, but in reality we aren't. We don't super care even. Uh, all we need to do is grind him out of value. This is what, 6. So, this missing land is really huge, because if he kills the search engine, we cannot do much. If I play the Emperor, then he kills the search engine, and that's fine. We will get it back at some point. And also, it's still the Emperor. Nice. So, that's a make disappear. This card would be a thing sooner or later, so the faster we get rid of it, it's better. We could also just get rid of Extraction Specialist right now, but we do not need it. We can play the Judge. I should probably attack first, in all honesty. If he makes disappear, that's absolutely fine. We are grinding cards, he's down to 3. And we are pressuring him really hard. I mean, we can pay it. If we care. So the question is, do we care? I will decline it. I just want my cards. Card for card. That's the story of this game. Also, uh, if we get at some point in this game to 6 mana, we get 3 cards for free, but... This, this is really painful, actually. The fact that we cannot just threaten this uh, three extra cards is such a big deal. Like, this would be a game-winning play. Alright. What would you say? Like, we are slowly grinding him. He needs to answer it. By the way, we're at 37. <laughs> I don't know how, but we are. And we have, fortunately, some basic lands, which is great. Yeah, he should not block, because it's like basically better capital to just not use it. It's it's unfortunate that we cannot hit the 6th land, that's a big deal. You know, using the search engine, he needs to kill it before it triggers, and he's getting more time than he should. But I still think we're in a good place. Yep, that's expected. So, even though... Oh, I love this place so much. So... 
I basically save my specialist and we will get to exactly the same spot after the sweeper. Unfortunately, sorry search engine, you were the best one. You threatened my opponent like a champ. But he's down to one card. And that's a oh now of course we got the sixth. Easy. And he might get something like Emperor. But you know what? I prefer my cards. So I'm not attacking with the Bangbuster. It's not like we're winning by just smorking his face. We are smorking his face just by the way. And we have nice one mana activation into two mana activation if we want. He's he's having one card. He also shouldn't play Ganjo. It's it's a removal. It's a good card. And that will be explosion. That's why we hold, held two mana for the full game. Now he's out of the game. I'm surprised he did not explode yet. Guys, you know, oh no, we don't have seven mana, <laughs> oh no, that would be so perfect. I really want my cards, you know, I really do want my cards. So for this reason, oh, but I will get my cards in a different way. So that's one of the good things about the extraction specialist. Like, you can use the other creature just to crew the Bangbuster. This is also the reason why we have chosen Bangbuster as our draw engine. Uh, it's so much synergy with the rest of the deck. So, this into this. We still have two mana and we threaten three cards next turn. So, now we go next turn. We play the land. Uh, do we crew the thing? We don't need to. Like, we will overwhelm him with cards next turn. Uh, one of the tricks you can make is soul partition your own extraction specialist and then your search engine starts working. Right now we can do... Alright. Let's wait for the action. We don't need to do anything right now. Run away. I will do the upkeep stop because I'm not sure if I will do something or not. We must protect the people. I will still do it right now. I don't think there's reason to do it like this, but I think that if we draw three cards, we will win the game, so why not? Why the hell not? He doesn't want to kill Specialist Serbra. And I'm, I'm respecting this guy a lot for not giving up because the game is closely over, but to be fair, if he draws Silver Scrutiny from the top, place it for... or like Farewell, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good top deck. So he has basically a top deck and an Emperor. And if he draws well, this might be enough. But I, I honestly don't think it will. So, uh, I mean, Exiling uh, this is not great. I'd much rather use it for Token, because he wants to plus one. So we will do it like this. And we use Soul Partition basically as a hexproof in a way. We do not use Extraction Specialist, we want to use it after the search engine is dead, and we can use all over again this ability. Yeah, I think you can use the 6 mana again. We are at 44 <laughs> HP by the way. <laughs> sure, enjoy, enjoy your 3 damage my friend. We could just kill it, but I don't want to risk any of my creatures. So I will also untap first, just to make sure that it cannot be countered. Because if it cannot be countered, this is absolutely great. Loses Defender, great. I would really like it to lose the Defender. And I mean... I will still go like this. We could just kill his face, but if we get rid of all of his value, he cannot win. Especially that we can activate search engine again next turn, and then we can back, get back the extraction specialist with search engine, and then we can paragon into extraction specialist into the search engine. So he's top decking like a god, I'm not gonna lie. It's either a farewell, full sweeper on everything, or just an insane cardo. But we'll st we should still make it work. So it has no defender. Let's go like this. He can try to kill it in response. But he does not. And now our cards are secured, basically. It might be the Emperor. Then we just draw cards. Okay, that's a 7 damage. He cannot memory the Lush this turn, so I will actually not play more. 
I will just go with the cards. We are a control deck after all. It's a weird control deck because we are having so much creatures, but we kind of have to. And our opponent is real champ for just staying in the game and top decking every single turn. <laughs> like, that's how you do it. That's how you forge a comeback. But I don't think he will be able to. Even though he's up to four cards, it's already quite nice, you know? So, first we draw some cards. I do enjoy drawing my cards. And you know what? We don't even need to sacrifice anything. Like, I will just get it back with the Extraction Specialist. Oh, Teferi is probably a nail in the coffin. By the way, look at our hand. Like, we are up to 10 cards. <laughs> oh, I love the search engine in this deck. It's just so fun. And, I mean, you can keep getting more and more stuff like this. As how many depopulates? I think two depopulates. Right yeah, two. So he probably has one or two in the deck. So it will be hard. He has one or two farewells and one nice on, or two the populates. I mean, let's make it easier. I will help him so we don't hold priority. He tapped out last turn. Now we are tapping out. Show me what you got. Farewell doesn't hit the fairy. The populate doesn't hit the fairy. He needs to separate cards even if he top decks like a master. Uh, Farewell is probably the best because it exiles everything, so we cannot follow up with Sarah Paragon, Extraction Specialist, Search Engine into land, into activating all of this stuff. And we also have another Search Engine, man, we are just drawing and drawing and drawing. How much mana do you need to activate all of this in one turn? 9, 10, 12 mana. We are nearing it. Okay, that's a solid silver. I guess the game is on. If you top deck like this, you can just keep playing, it seems. Uh, it's absolutely fine. Four mana. So he is fishing for the populate. Did he hit it? No. No. And unfortunately, he sh he needs to hit it. We also have the populate. Maybe we can help him. I mean, in this particular situation, we can hit him for five when unblockable. Can we make more damage? Can we make more damage? I will definitely draw. I want my cards. Farewell, we cannot hit anything only on his side, so that's a small problem. Alright, we cannot attack with this one because of the specialist, right? So, I guess we just go manually, right? I think Soul Partition is worth it. Like, we have so many cards that it's okay, and with Paragon we have Chain on value of value. So this one... Is so what? Loses defender. Okay, so this has no defender, so we need 9 mana. 3? Oh, I, I lack 1 mana. That's not great from my side. It's fine though. So we double attack. He probably blocks the furry thingy. Yep. And what do we do? I think we go for Danik. It helps with the populate because then we draw a card. It, it can also be the bangbuster. There is a chance he has farewell, but he needs farewell particular, and a lot of decks run two of them only because the meta is so aggressive. All right, so he wants to, uh, he wants us to pay two. I will. So he wants to ensure that we cannot mess his plan. Uh, that would suggest he has farewell in the hand because then he answers everything. So as long as we don't draw cards, uh, he should be happy with the results, right? He's at 3 mana, he needs every single turn basically a sweeper, and after, after he sweeps we will play the Paragon, Extraction Specialist and Search Engine, so he needs the Exile effect. He's digging, <laughs> oh my god, he's digging. That's one of the reasons we play the Bangbuster, if he hits the Populate it doesn't help him. Now he needs exactly Farewell, and as you can see he he's trying to leave the mana, but it's already too late for Farewell. I'm not sure if he played the land to this turn. Yes. And he cannot find farewell and he's overwhelmed. Like we went basically, even with really good top decks from his side, he just cannot keep up with the chain of search engine extraction specialist. All right, we are playing against fire and blood <laughs> with a vampire. Like I like the guy already. We are taking this, we are on the, on the play. So Urza Silex is much, much better. And you know what? We are just playing our stuff. I will make a stop to fake make disappear. Uh, it's not a big deal, but why not, right? 
I usually wait like three seconds. Okay, you got it. I should remove the stop because I have shown that something is fishy. All right, so we have two options, Silex or the Judge. We will go with the Judge. Reasoning, uh, he is tapped out. If he had untapped mana, I would go for the Silex because if he Inferno grasps at then step, it's not great. And if he Inferno grasps right now or go for the Throat, it means that he doesn't get the card. He basically wasted his turn. Like, things are not great for him, and we still get a win condition in the graveyard. You know, not the biggest deal, but it's something. And the faster we can get it to start, you know, uh, getting the counters, the better, basically, for us. So, as you can see, I, I'm pretty sure he has some kind of uh, removal, and he's, he will use it at the end step. Uh, it's not a cutdown, so it has to be go for the throat. It means that he might not even draw this card. Uh, let's wait with the Emperor. Emperor is better play. We don't need Silex as nothing is going on in the game, basically. We cannot really... Like, I, I don't like, uh, you know, using it just to negate two cards, because they usually draw once at least. Even twice, possibly, so you don't really get much value. You can pay the extra cost because it's too early. Like, everything is just awkward, you know? Bangbuster. As you can see, he might be playing around our Make Disappear. And now he might re get rid of the Judge, but we will see. Of course, we go for the minus one, because we want to make as many targets as possible, so he feels pressure. He has insane value in the hand, in, in the hand right now, thanks to Bangbusters. However, he's losing the pressure game. Uh, it's really important that we get into Farewell, in all honesty. All right, we cannot attack it, but we'll try to attack right now. And as you can see, even though like he has removal in the hand for sure, uh, it's really hard to remove all of this. Like we are ramping the pressure slowly but surely. I could play the Emperor. I could play the Emperor. I'm not sure if that would be the better play. Uh, let's go with the Bangbusters because I don't want to miss my stuff, and one mana is not enough to kill the Judge, so. He needs to solve it next turn somehow. I might go for farewell. I want to pressure them so hard that they don't draw cards and then I farewell their bankbusters. That would be probably the best. I guess in this scenario I shouldn't play my own bankbuster. Maybe I didn't think it's super through because he has card advantage and he has also card advantage here. All I have is board advantage. So we need to leverage it super hard. And our opponent is playing pretty nicely, in all honesty. He's, he seems like a good player. He's patient. He's drawing cards. He's doing stuff. This is the point when he can do whatever without... You can see, he fears the counter spell. And the judge needs a lot of mana to be answered. That's pretty nice. Alright. And we are getting to some good stuff. Hmm. So I think that what we have to do, plus one this, draw a card and play search engine. I think that's the play. Yeah, we need to keep up the pressure, so it's super hard for him to, you know, just defend. We could attack harder for one extra damage, but we lose one card. And I want to make sure that whenever I fare well, um, I don't lose a lot. It is also a bit awkward. Uh, because search engine is an artifact, so even though I don't name my creatures, it is a thing. Alright, so bye bye judge. You were great. Not really, but he, he made some difference in the game. And Trespasser is not the biggest deal. He might start attacking with Bankbusters, but it's not great for him. Double attack means that he either takes six. Oh no, he has Bankbusters to defend. Okay, that's that's something. That's definitely something. I mean, this is the play. This is for sure the play, and we'll use the search engine. It's it cannot be blocked, right? That's actually something that's easy to miss. Amalgam is a really nice draw, in all honesty. I do enjoy it. So another thingy, removal into one of my creatures. He cannot go for the throat for the search engine. He didn't show much removal, except like very, very weird one. 
All right, so he exiled the card. He exiled the shard for that. You can see how scared they are. And I love it because it means farewell, right? It means farewell. I won't be able to get my Bangbuster to full potential, but it's fine. It's good enough. I'm not exiling Graveyard, so I will have my search engine. If I drew a card, I could Silex this turn. All right, all right, all right, all right. It has to be farewell, right? It has to be farewell into the token. That's probably the most value that we can get. Do I want to attack? So I lose this guy. Oh, but if I... Okay, I, I'm losing this one anyway, right? So, I mean, why the hell not deal four damage when you can do it? It is a fishy attack, so he might react to it somehow. I don't think it changes how I play. Even like, um, if he sacrifices this one for block, do I give him those two cards? I don't think so. I have more cards. If I can reset the board and have a plane walker that he doesn't have, even if he has invoked the spare, do we all know he has it? By the way, we can counter it with amalgam. How fun that is. And then he won't be able to block and we deal four damage and we do nothing else. As you can see, he wants to trade the bankbusters. That's interesting. I really don't want him to draw cards. Uh, so, this and artifacts. No enchantments, right? Creatures, artifacts. Perfect. So, the board is clear. So, uh, as I was saying, even if he has invoked the spell and they always have it, uh, he will get one card and clear the board. That's not great. That's not the greatest play on earth. And if he doesn't, he's in super trouble. We can play Paragon. Yeah, we can also go for the Amalgam, whatever he does, and just counter it. And he has only two cards. Yep, that's perfect. One card left, it cannot be invoked despair. And that's a short bet. I mean, sure, that is always annoying. Tap plant is definitely hurting us right now. So this has to be this one, right? Man, if we didn't have a tap plant, we could get the Silex going. However, it's still fine. We get some HP. It should be the search engine, right? Yeah, it is Sarah Paragon. He's in top deck mode, so he's not even guaranteed to get rid of it. Man, we can just play the Bangbuster and get infinite value. But I will go for this one. I will go for this one. And I will go for the search engine because that prevents the cut down to hit it. Uh, if he attacks with the shorted, we can double block, but I'm not sure if that would be a great idea. There is a low chance he hits exactly the... Sure. Now my Emperor kills your shorted and I get my stuff anyway. Like, I will get the Bangbuster next turn, probably, and I can crew it if I want. So, uh, and we also heal by this. Alright, Trespasser. It seems that he has the Trespasser from how he plays. Okay, maybe he's waiting for the next... We don't care about the damage too much. And this will be a nice Emperor right, right there. And we go like this. We should be on our way to win this game right now. And you know what? I'm a sneaky, sneaky boy. I'm not doing it. In case of Liliana or whatever, I can just sacrifice the Bankbuster and draw card as well. So we do not attack because then we cannot crew. And as long as we get some extra cards, we should be golden. All right, that's a land. And I mean, we can go with the Silex right now. No, uh, Emperor and drawing cards is better. So right now I do not need to fear, I can start attacking. It's not a lot of damage, you know, but it's still something. So I can crew the bank, I can draw a card, crew the Bankbuster, play Amalgam, sacrifice the Bankbuster and counter whatever he has. As you can see, he has the card that we feared he might have. And that's fine. So he wants to sacrifice the Paragon. But in reality, all he gets is a lousy samurai. Sure. See, last turn, if we did, if we get vulnerable to this, we could uh, lose the paragon for this reason, for 
For no reason. That was the worst sentence of my life, but it's fine. So, we'll draw cards. Every single card matters. Usually. And, I mean, we can just kill Liliana, right? It's, I should use the Emperor first, but we do not care super much. Like, it seems that the game is going on, but th thanks to Paragon, we have so much value. We can draw cards, we can activate Bengaster next turn, we have Overcharge Amalgam. I mean, sure. He might. This might be the cutdown. Let's see. It is a cutdown. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's really nice. Uh, so we can use the Bankbuster offensively. So we will exploit the pilot. We will counter the cutdown. And he might scoop at this point. Huh? Explosion time? <laughs> Not yet, I guess. What a fighter! We don't need HP, so I will go for extra mana. With search engine, it might matter. And we are doing it like this. So we crew. Uh, it is really hard for them to kill the ar artifact because it doesn't die to any sorcery speed. So we might as well attack like this. And this is the cleanup duty basically. Uh, we will level up the search engine. I'm not sure if we have all the mana. One, three. We lack one mana to draw three cards from this. We, we need one extra mana to activate all of the abilities in a row. And we did it! Like, this was an interesting game, but Paragon definitely, like, hard carded this one. Alright, I'm going first uh, with Bangbusters, one of my favorite situations in Magic, basically. So you have more lands and also you have more cards. That seems about right. Uh, so yeah, next turn might actually be Silex. I'm not sure what we are playing against, but so far so good. We have, like, he cannot counter the Bangbuster and now we can get uh, card advantage. Man, we can get Silex, but in all honesty, they have things like a Braid. So you usually want to milk all the value from artifacts, so you don't, you know, lose it on three counters, basically giving you zero card advantage. One of your best cards for the, you know, grindy matchups. Bangbuster, sure. So we are sharing it at the moment, but I have the initiative because I was good enough to be on the play. And he was a bad player and he is on the draw. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Uh, I mean, Faith Faith Bound Judge is not a bad card here. It gives some pressure. We can start attacking and he stopped out. We have another Bangbuster, so I actually will do it. He stepped out, we have the Bangbuster. I think in this way we can actually make some extra damage that will make him sweaty. And I know how it feels when Bangbuster hits your face. And I'm always sweaty, so I'll have to see it. It's for toughness, so it's pretty hard for them to deal with. They usually need some kind of 3 mana sorcery stuff to, to deal with it. I don't see Voltage Search lately, even though it could be good, like he has a lot of artifacts, but not really ones that he wants to sacrifice, right? So he most likely has like a Braid, he doesn't have them in the hand probably if he didn't kill the Bangbuster, but he has them in the deck, oh, and here comes the Black Mana, so that's maybe go for the Throat? Okay, okay, so we know exactly what we are playing against, Synthesizer. Well, I mean, that will give him a lot of tokens this game. It might be the Urza Silex turn. Yeah, I think it will. Because we have two mana to draw the Bangbuster and we just pray that he doesn't hit uh, a Braid. That's basically the card that will possibly win him the game. And he exalts really good card. You love to see it. I mean, we are probably more defensive right now, right? He has what, one mana? But he can crew his Bangbuster. I mean, this is Silex. And I don't think he can counter it, right? He can only use the Mishra's Research Desk. Interesting card. Like, I'm not sure about the math on this against other cards, but it's definitely an interesting one. And we are not doing anything. All I care about is just drawing my cards. I'm not feeling absolutely great because I'm pretty sure he can kill it in the deck. So let's see if he can hit it. Sure. 
What are the cards? A bright, a bright? Show me. I need to know. Okay, he has chosen the Fable. Interesting choice, considering I have the Silex in the board. And I think he loses it if he doesn't play it right now. <laughs> so, not sure about this plan, to be absolutely honest. But maybe we'll whiff on the, car uh, on the land and we cannot pay the extra too. Alright, I'm, I'm bamboozled. What exactly is the game plan here? My friend, you do realize everything explodes next turn, right? Playing into this board is not the best choice of your life. I would really like a land. I would really like a land. I would really like a land. Deck, you are 26 for a reason. So I guess we don't get our Planewalker. That's not perfect. However, however, we can leverage it. We can leverage it. This is that anyway, right? This is weird. I hope they will just draw a card. We cannot use this one. All right, so what we are doing is drawing a card because we get a treasure. And thanks to this, we got a land. Yay, good players. I mean, we don't have much of a choice, right? And we are doing it from this. I would really like my Planewalker, but it is what it is. I have six mana, he has the same, he will draw a card. Basically what happens is we reset the stuff. Maybe he just wanted to force us into using it, but I'm not sure, like we have more cards than he does. I guess he gets extra card, but it gets exalted deck and step right. Uh, until end of turn, so you need to activate or sacrifice it during your turn. N nice resolve all bottom wizards. I will click it. I will help the wizard bug the bug department. Well, that that was that wasn't fun at all. <laughs> Sahili, filigree master card that I didn't beat around, but it seems pretty dope. So you may tap an art untapped artifacts you control. Alright, so we definitely need to do something about it. Do we have... no, we don't. We could play the Bank Buster. I don't think it's good enough though. I think it's it's lame. What we can do is play Denix, Search Engine and Soul Partition Sahili. I think this is a good play. And this might... oh my. This might be a Make Disappear. Well, that's scary. Uh, they will definitely want to draw a card. And I definitely do not want them to draw a card. What about this, bro? Do you have something in mind against my search engine? We don't care about it dying because we have extraction specialist. All right, pretty scary. He has two mana anyway. If he taps it, I'm doing the thing. Go away, Sahiri. He m I think he counters it, in all honesty. But maybe he doesn't. Okay. I'm happy about these results. So we, of course, do it at the upkeep, so he needs to tap mana main phase. Or uh, during his turn, at least, so he can make less plays. And right now, he cannot replace Sahili. Even though she gets extra value when he plays it, because she's coming back at full loyalty, it's not the biggest deal. And with Sarah Paragon, we should be able to outvalue them, slowly but surely. And if we draw a land, we can just go for the judge. Do they have something? Oh, they play search, a voltage search. Okay, nice. Good to know. They have chosen Danik, so they want to burn us. Because this is a better card overall, but it's slower. And this has lifelinks. And they have, they have chosen this one because of the lifelink. So they want to burn us. Go for the throw. Definitely interesting card. <laughs> when you only... That's unlucky. If he has chosen the search engine, he could basically clear everything. But he just went for the greedy version. He has a lot of cards in Exile. Yeah, it's an artifact. It's an artifact. Uh, if he goes for Sahili, we can just go for Amalgam, maybe? I really need some extra lands, to be honest. Thank you. I actually really enjoyed this draw. So now we can go for Paragon. But we probably won't value, right? 
So what we want to do is play Extraction Specialist. Yeah, this is pretty good. I want to make sure that I amalgam the Sahili because this is his biggest play right now. And we get Danik back. Pretty cool, right? And I mean, I will attack him probably. Yeah. Like, we want to pressure... Oh, right. Never mind, never mind. I don't have this one. I remember during my turn and then I immediately forgot. Of course, you need to pay one mana, so it's unblockable. But we cannot pay one mana because we are holding the Amalgam. This is this is annoying card, but it's not the best card, so we are waiting. I'm actually not happy that he didn't play Sahiri. I really played into this, <laughs> basically. But we can use four mana to burn the thing. We could just play Amalgam as a creature and try to kill him as quickly as possible. Like, we have lifelinkers and he doesn't, right? Alright. He, he really wants the search engine, right? So, Vortage Search. He can deal 2 damage quite easily, but we can pump it. And when we pump it to 4 toughness, he needs to sacrifice artifact, but if he sacrifices an artifact, then he doesn't get any value. To damage, not much. He cannot attack on the ground because of the lifelink, then we heal more than he deals, basically. So, really awkward turn for him. He wants to not sacrifice anything, but he has to sacrifice something. Yeah, otherwise we just, you know, do the thing. Do I want to counter it? Do I want to counter it? Like, this will ramp a lot of pressure. But then we cannot go with Sahili. That's a, that's a really important cho choice during the game. Here's one card. We know nearly everything about what's going on. We can also go for the judge. You know what? I will do it. I will freaking do it. And we will sacrifice them because this is the card that cannot attack and this one can. And we just counter it and we put more pressure into the board. You know what? Otawara is an interesting card. Do we really go for the judge? It feels like this can throw our game off. <laughs> like it feels that we can lose actually if we do it. Maybe just the fate board, fate, faith bound judge. All right, we definitely pay one mana for this because we want to raise him, and he will probably block the the life linker. I think that's the play. I think that's the play, and that's great because if he trades. You know what we are doing. We are going Sarah Paragon into Extraction Specialist into Danik, and that will be such an insane play. Oh, he didn't go for it. I'm sad. Yep. So he negates the lifelink. That's actually a good play. Smart by him. Smart by him. This way we don't get the lifelink, but we still get a lot of value. Three turns? Really? I don't think we'll be playing after three turns, honestly. So I think this is the good play. Now we can... We could go for the Bang Buster, but we have another one. And as you can see, our opponent hates us life linking. So we'll make sure that we can life link. And I will keep Otawara, even though I mana starved nearly every single turn. Especially with search engine, like this is how it works. I don't think he can raise us. Yeah, and he also agrees that he cannot raise it. Man, six, six mana Sahili, not as great as less mana Sahili.